New tonight for Scythe County EMS workers have a new way to protect themselves. Justin Schreyer joins us live from their headquarters. And Justin, what is this new piece of equipment and why now? Hey, Kenny, good evening. Yeah, the department just received 80 ballistic vests that can protect crews against some gunfire and from knives. I think it's something we've needed for a, for a significant amount of time. Forsyth County EMS crews now have a new tool to help keep themselves safe. They have nearly 100 ballistic vests to outfit their crews while at work. So we have more than we have more vests than we have riding positions, but that allows for difference in sizing. It also allows for when we have students ride, we have different uh, people ride with our agency for different reasons. It, it allows them to, to have a vest also, just in case. Chief of Emergency Services Darren Ziegler says the vests are needed because crews have been responding to an increase in the amount of calls involving violence. We run a lot of violent calls, uh, assaults, shootings, stabbings, things like that. Um, we want them to wear them on those calls um, by all means. Anything that we know uh, has a high potential for violence, any specific situations. In 2019, the National Association of EMTs surveyed EMS workers in the U.S. Out of the nearly 2,200 responses they received, they found that two in three survey respondents, 67% reported having been physically assaulted while practicing EMS. Nearly all 91% respondents reported having been verbally assaulted while practicing EMS. Ziegler says having the vests will help keep EMS crews from getting physically hurt while doing their job so that they can continue to help others. We look at it just like any other PPE, like you're wearing your gloves, if you, you wear a gown, you wear a mask, you wear eye protection. In this case, if you're in a situation, you may wear ballistic protection also. And the 80 vests cost about $47,000. They were paid for through a 50-50 grant from Piedmont Regional Trauma System. The Forsyth County Commissioners paid the other half. Live here in Winston-Salem tonight, Justin Schreyer, WXI 12 News. Justin, thank you. One